Uh, it's just a short video for now, guys, because uh, obviously if we get combining this, this afternoon, um, it, I'll start filming a bit longer. I'll probably edit it, edit tonight and put it out tomorrow because um, it's supposed to be a bit wet tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, I think, for us. Uh, so, But I've got a video sent to me of one of my mates, uh, Steve. Um, he's put a, a video on, what, what, what he wants me to put on. So I'm going to put that on now, then we'll get into the day. Now then, Yorkshire Steve here. This is a Deutsch. Deutsch. Think I prefer a Fent. Yeah, definitely a Fent. Don't know what this does, don't know what this does, don't know what this does. I'm to bloody clue. Seat sliding backwards and forwards. But got right dealer boots on to be a farmer. Uncle Putin just on Manny 2. It's a bit slow, but he'll get there, I think. We stack bales like this on our farm. Yeah, here he comes, look. Here he comes, up, up, up. Oh, he's a bit slow. Slow, not like Uncle Otty. Uncle Otty's much better. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, or is it subscribe and like? Anyway, gotta go. Not sure what I'm doing tonight. Don't know whether I'm going to take kids out or, or is it just dog to feed? Anyway, I'll speak to you later. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Don't forget. It's all this here. He's going to give it another go. Maybe just go a little bit lower, a bit higher up on the front so it just takes the head off. But you can see he's taking the head off here already. Like, look at these ruts. By hand for scale. It's like bloody hay that. Um, yeah. It's just this section here. He's nearly out of it. To get to up there, there's a little, little bit up there, but this is a 37 acre field and he's done a big chunk of it and I haven't even got a full trailer yet. Just waiting for my dad to get full, he'll be about nearly full, I reckon. He's done on a few passes. Just heading to some light land because it's, it's 16%. If it stays like that, we'll be pulling out if it stays at 16. Um, we've got one tray load up. 16% and I've got another one here at 16 and we'll uh, don't want any more, more wet corn Boy, look at these ruts these are axle breakers these will break your axle subsoil wants to come through here morning guys Thursday morning just come to get the last of the bales from fall gates um, we stopped cutting last night, it was just too wet, uh, it was about 16%. We've got two trailer loads and we're not even halfway in that field, so I thought we'll leave it for another day, let it dry, get this rain out of the way. Um, oh, see in here, got our tick on. Uh, my dad's just following behind me, he won't be far behind. It's supposed to rain at about 11 o'clock this morning. So, I thought best clear of these bales. Just put some soil on. My dad's just come back to me. He, he uh, popped a tie yesterday. I forgot to get a video of it. But I've just got front weight on. And I've just got some soil on. Sunday morning, just uh, come to check the pigs. I'm just in one of the new sheds we've just done, just checking them. Um, it's uh, 118 here, I think. We're all, we can all 200 in this shed. Make sure they're all alright. They're all running really well. We've had, this is the second week we've had these now, so. Right, we'll go to scrape through. These are real good pigs, New England pigs. I love getting these pigs from. Um, Rosies, but they'll do really well. Just going to walk through these uh, four pens. I checked the 
shampoo, checking side the pumps, making sure everyone, everyone's okay. This, this pen I'm in now, they come a week after the, the other three pens. Just making sure there's no really ill ones, lame ones. Ones what need pulling out, jabbing. Check the other feed, water. A bit of coughing actually here. Yeah. We filled these up on Friday. This pen here, these were a week um, before, so they're a bit older, but they're humongous pigs, these. I'm going to have to reopen my sheet on my trailer because I didn't put the strap on it until I realised and I did a couple of loads and it's unravelled a little bit. You can just see up the back. It's not as tight as it should be. So when I tip up, that's just going to just flap about up the back because obviously I, I haven't put the strap on when I should have, when it was nice and tight. So I'll just undo the strap, unravel it again and uh, re-ravel it and put the strap on properly. Quite windy. Um, phone might blow down. I can't believe how windy it is actually. Well, I'll try and get his trailer. If it thought blows down, I might have to jump back up and sort it out. I'm just standing on arms and top me. That's a lot tighter now. It's below the metal bracket there, so it will, it'll stop it bouncing out when I'm bouncing down the road. See, it's a bit under that bracket as well now. Just taking dogs for a quick walk. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at the a bridge my dad put down yesterday. This is a field I uh, cultivated the other day. It's, it's starting to chat, starting to chit with the. Uh, with some weeds and wheat, wheat and barley already. Um, yeah, I'm just walking to the bridge of uh, my dad's just done. Ready for pheasant season, so it's easier for blokes to, instead of walking around with the dike, they could just walk straight over it. Not doing much today. I was hoping to get combine in today. Uh, my dad had a go yesterday. I was at a kid's party all day. At Monk Park Farm, um, he phoned me up and said it was 19%, so it's far too wet for us. That. So hopefully, it might, might get going today, but there's no sun in the sky, it's not really drying. We just need some sun. Uh, yeah, this field's going back in as a winter wheat, uh, same as that one. Of, Behind that tree, that's going in a winter wheat. Same as that field, that's winter wheat again. Continuous weeks down up the farm. And we we, we only really have break crops. Uh, we have 90 acres down up the farm, then the rest of the land, we have break crops. We just have continuous cereals down here. It's just how we've always done it. So, plus, it's the straw's close to the farm. We're not carting a million miles away. So. Uh, Chris sorted them two drains out. I don't know if you remember. We had two blown drains near this beck. One was a, a cracked pot. Uh, we just replaced it. Um, and one was the bank slid down into the ditch. So uh, Chris dug it out, found it. 
haven't sorted that so that's why i had one blue because it couldn't get away because obviously the bank slid down and covered covered a pipe end uh, i don't know if you see the marks i'll see how i get that there's one over here i think i'll, I'll flip the camera around one was there but he's obviously covered it in obviously i've subsoiled this it's still rock hard under feet here's another one i've subsoiled over it he's filled it in a little bit here but this is one with the, the crack pot so and it comes comes out of here i think there's two actually it's two markers yeah, there's that one, and there's that one there. Still, still running water, but we haven't had that much rain. Well, we haven't had any rain since Thursday, was it? Uh, this is the bridge my dad put on yesterday. A yeah, nice, neat job, that. So this is for the beaters and the, the shooters when they come and obviously I'll get up that bird seed there, uh, bird cover crop for SFI. There's another big drain now. You can't really see it from here. A big drain. Yeah. So tomorrow we need to. If we're not combining, we've got this field to disc. Uh, we've got a couple more fields up the back of that wood. Fifteen acres to to disc and subsoil. So right, uh, I'll head back to the farm now. Right, guys, I'm going to leave that there. It's Sunday morning. I've just fobbed up. Not much going on up farm yet, but uh, hopefully this afternoon we might get combining, so there'll be a bit more filming to do then. Uh, tomorrow's cultivating to do. A pretty busy day tomorrow, so um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.